What is your reaction when people say that you're the greatest women's player to do it? And can you give the youngsters out there a little history lesson about some of your greatest games? For example, your career high in high school. Well, my career high in high school was 105. But I will say, <laughs> I did pass the ball. I did pass the ball. And I didn't play the last two minutes of the game. So can you imagine the damage I would have done? Uh, but look, I, I was one of many. I, I, I had great coaches along the way. Um, but the main thing is, is win, get that W. And from a very young age, extremely competitive, didn't like to lose. Um, and I loved to grind the game up. And most of all, I was always honing my skills. What I needed to get better in, my left hand, my right hand, uh, a jump hook, all the things, um, all the tools of the game I wanted to improve on. And I was very fortunate, like I said, to play with some amazing players. Well, we, uh, we're lucky enough to have a young audience, and sometimes they need to be educated to some history lessons. Just take a look at these numbers right here that this woman joining the program put up while she was playing. It's out of control when you look at... Wow. Th this is... Look at, the, look at the field goal percentage. Over 50% <laughs> every single year, over 20 points every single year, and nearly double-digit rebounds every single year. It's so nice to have you on the program, Cheryl, because you blazed the trail for so many female basketball players and now in the NBA we have about a dozen a dozen female I mean uh, women coaches in the league when do yeah. you think we will see a head coach in the NBA there is a woman I think it's right around the corner uh, there are so many tremendous uh, uh, female basketball coaches I just like to call them coaches male female cat dog squirrel or rat they're a coach <laughs> and I love that that it's inclusionary Guys are respecting and have always respected the women's game, and they respect a ball of ball, as you guys well know. Um, so I'm excited for the future of women's basketball. We are now clearly in front and center. Uh, the game has grown in so many different ways. Players are more talented, athletic, playing multiple positions, and they love and crave the game. And we finally are getting the exposure that we deserve. So a unique family situation, and Big shout to your parents and you guys support group because we got an all-time great on the program, but I was fortunate enough that your younger brother, a mentor and a big brother to me, Reggie Miller, yes. playing with him so many years in Indiana. Now he's in the Hall of Fame. Has he ever beaten you in basketball? Oh, yeah, eventually, eventually. <laughs> it, it was around, I, I believe it was my sophomore, my sophomore or freshman year after winning a title, and I was like, I'm a baller, who can beat me? And we were in the backyard, it was Thanksgiving, and I got served up. I remember getting past them. I'm like, same old, same old, blow back, have them on skates, go to lay it up, and he pinned it. He mm. pinned it, and it came, and he, you know, brought it down. I said, let's play horse. Uh, checkers, <laughs> Monopoly, backgammon. <laughs> that was it, that was it for the one-on-one. -on -one. After that, I knew, I knew he was the man. <laughs> well, all, all college basketball season long, we've said over and over again on this program that our favorite player in college basketball, not male or female college basketball, our favorite player in college basketball is Sabrina Ionescu. We've kept our eye on her all season long. I'm sure you have too. Yes. What do you think that she'll be able to do when she gets to the WNBA? Oh, she's going to have a tremendous future. I mean, I mean, you look at the hesitation. She has so much confidence. She's like Reggie and like Jalen. They may miss their first 10 shots, but they know they're going to make their next 15. You know, and she leads the team. She's not, she doesn't shy away from the big moments or taking the big shot. She doesn't mind if she's, you know, a goat or she's going to be a hero. And 99% of the time, she's a heroine. Cheryl, we have a very special segment on this program that we want you to join us. It is okay. called Soft Move or Boss Move. Okay. <laughs> there is a controversy swirling around the internet that I need both of you to answer on. Okay. Putting sugar in your grits, starting with you, Cheryl. Is that a soft move or a boss move? Oh, soft move. H to the no. You got to put some strawberry jam in that bad boy. Lots of Ooh. butter. But sugar? Sugar and cereal. Not in grits. <laughs> strawberry jam? Strawberry oh, jam. Yeah. Strawberry jam? Hey, preserve. Hey, and then sop it up with some biscuits <laughs> or bread if you haven't gone to the supermarket and you gotta throw down some heavy bacon. Y'all making me hungry. Jalen, sugar and grits, soft move or boss move? I was gonna call it a boss move because 
Initially, I was putting pepper in it and a lot of butter. Then all of a sudden, I realized I'm gonna try some sugar to sweeten it up, and I was hooked. And then before I knew, I put sugar in everything. Sugar in my grits, sugar in my cereal, sugar in my oatmeal. Boss move, Cheryl Miller. I don't I don't feel that. You know what? When mm. you call me a couple years later with diabetes, yeah, holla <laughs> at you. <laughs> Cheryl, true or false? You told our producers that you put mayonnaise in your grits. Oh, absolutely. Not, not in my grits, in spaghetti. Oh, you know, you, wait, what? No, no, Whoa. it's spaghetti. What? You, you, just, you spaghetti? just take a little dip, kind of like soften it up and everything else. Oh, with some garlic toast. That is nasty. Yeah. That is nasty. Hold up, have oh, you ever tried it? Disgusting. Try it. Red what are you doing? Sauce with you mayo. put mayo in the sauce. Mayo Lighten it up in a little bit. Mayo in the sauce? Oh, no. Oh, there no. It is. Ooh, they should do a whole documentary about that alone. You can catch <laughs> Women of Troy on HBO on March 10th. Cheryl, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome back anytime. Hey, guys, thank you very much. And everybody out there must see TV. Women of Troy, HBO. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.